Hi everyone, it's Laura and today I'm so happy to be doing a collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube, Donna, from Donna's Mature Life. Donna's been off YouTube for a couple of months taking a break and she's back and we have wanted to collab for a very long time. She is so smart and beautiful and I really admire her. She's in her 50s like I am and uh, she's just a beautiful person on the inside and out. She's like me in the fact that we both love drugstore makeup. She's going to be telling you about some new Revlon products that are out. I have a bunch of goodies here from Milani and Wet n Wild that I can't wait to share with you. My lips have felt so fantastic since I started using this Milani lip treatment. It's called Milani Keep It Smooth Lux Lip Treatment. Now this to me is so much thinner than Vaseline. It's not as goopy as Vaseline feels. It's thinner. It's one of these products where you just dip your finger and rub it over. My lips look plumper. When I wake up in the morning, the product has absorbed into my lips, but they still feel very silky. I have tried so many lip balms. I had a box of them that I went through and decluttered a couple of months ago, and I just kept one lip product. And then when I saw this, I thought, this is different than the treat. Uh, lip balm I've been using so I wanted to give it a try and it makes my lips look and feel beautiful. I had promised myself I was not going to buy any more contour products. I bought the kit around the holidays from Anastasia, the cream contour that I found at Marshall's. I have other contours and I don't even contour that often. Most of the time when I go to work I just use blush. But I couldn't resist this one from Milani because I wanted to review it for you and see how it worked. Now this one, on one end you have a contour. I love the shade they chose. It's not orangey. It's not too warm. It's more of a taupey shade. So I think this is great for any skin tone. I'm more of a medium skin tone, but I think this would work on my daughter who has very fair skin. I'm going to let her give it a try, but I'm sure this shade would work on her too. On this side, there's a sponge, and it's a highlighter, and I just dab it, and then I take an e.l.f. stipple brush and sort of blend it. You could even pat it with your fingers, but it's beautiful. It's what I'm wearing right now on my skin. It's luminous without being too much. I've worn this to work, so it's definitely something you could wear for daytime, but if you wanted to amp it up a little, put on a little more product for night, it would work for that too. And for the price to have a contour that works great and a highlighter, I think it's convenient. You could even throw it in your purse. This would be great for travel, so you don't have to take all these contour and highlighter kits. You just take this one simple, convenient product. Now it's time for some Wet n Wild. If you didn't watch my video from last week, I hope you'll watch it because I covered a lot of other new products at the drugstore. But I went back and got a few more things. Another promise I'd made was no more concealers. But while I was at Walgreens, I was talking to the lady that works at the store and she said, have you tried the concealer? It's fabulous. And I said, why did you have to tell me that? Now I've got to buy it and try it. And it is great. And one tip I would give that I think has worked so well for me, I was buying all these very light concealers and not things that were my own skin tone. I decided this time to go with my own skin tone. And I'm telling you, I think it makes me look much younger. I believe that some of these light highlighters I've been buying actually accentuate uh, crepiness and fine lines. I chose this color, this shade, uh, light medium beige is what I chose. It's got the typical sponge applicator, but it blends flawlessly with my skin. I had a little skin accident this week, actually. I don't know what happened to me if I exfoliated too hard or it was a mixture of products, but remember when you're a kid, when you fall off your bike and you skin your knee? That's what happened to my under eye area. I skinned it here and over here and every day it got more red and looked terrible. So I put some Neosporin on it 
and avoided putting any retinols or anything in that area to let it heal. And I've been using this and I thought, how am I going to go to work with this? It looks terrible, but this concealer covered it, which really sold me on this product. I am going to have to eat some words of things I've said before about powders because I talked about how much I did not like powder on my skin for the last year I've been saying that and then I started trying to apply powder first and then my foundation I apply it and sort of brush it off not really the baking I don't put it on so heavy I just press the powder into my skin enough to cover my skin and then I take a big fluffy brush and just brush off the extra and then apply my foundation and I did a video about that on long-lasting foundation and that method has really worked for me well while I was at the store the lady that worked at Walgreens also said have you tried the powder oh you did it to me again now I got to do that but I did buy the photo focus powder in the shade neutral buff and I really like it. This is a silky, smooth kind of powder, very lightweight, not a heavy powder. There's not so much color where it messes up your foundation. It just gives a beautiful look. So for this price, I can't believe, even if it was expensive, I still would think it's a great product. Now one that is new also that I love, and this is gonna be different opinions for different people. I don't mind reapplying lip product. I do love long lasting lip products, but they seem to really dry out my lips and make them look older. So I bought two of these. They're called Pouton Tees. They're a lip balm that is a gel lip balm with color in it. I am crazy about these. The first one I bought is called Love, and it's a beautiful, sort of like mauve -y kind of pink. It looks gorgeous on the lips. I love the feel of it. My lips just feel so moisturized. Now it isn't something that's long lasting. So after I drink coffee or sip water at work, I have to reapply it. But I really don't mind because of the way it feels. And then I bought, went back and bought more of a peach shade. This one's called Tease. And again, it just feels amazing on the lips and what I like to do also is put a lip pencil on first to give me more lasting power and then put this on top. Now another thing that I've been doing to my lips that's not wet and wild but I love this technique is I bought a white lip pencil on Amazon. It's from a company, it's Aesthetica and it's their ombre stick. This is a really cool product because on one side is white, which I like to do in the center of the lips to make them look a little pouty or a little fuller. And the other side is a lip brush so you can blend it. I've been doing that with these and with other lipsticks and I just love the look it gives. Now I've also been using this product from Maybelline. It's number 750 and it's called Wickedly White. This is in their bold collection. This is a very powerful white so if you're wanting something you could just pick up at the drugstore this is awesome. And again I just put it in the center of the lips. I've also been using it to change shades that are too dark for me. I have some lipsticks I've tried because I wanted to try them for all of you and they don't look that great on me. They're too dark, they're very aging. So I've been taking this white, mixing it and bringing the tone down a little bit. And so this product here, having a white lipstick is actually a great way of taking lipsticks that maybe aren't that usable for you and making them look beautiful. A few more wet and wild goodies. Now this isn't new, but again on the line of the lips, what I've been doing is taking this Love Lip Balm, the gel, and then mixing it with this from their Mega Stick collection. This is what we used to call in the 70s a frosty lip gloss. We used to call this frost, but also, what I like to do with it is, I don't put this all over my lips, I just put it right in the center, sort of just blot my lips together like I did with the white, and what a beautiful look that gives. 
I just am crazy. I've been doing that all week, putting this uh, balm on and then this, and it just gives such a beautiful soft pink that would really go with anything that you wear. Now another new product at the drugstore are their lip pencils. I love these. They glide on so smooth. I bought one in a nude shade because that's just so versatile. It can go with pretty much any lipstick I own. I've been wearing that all over the lips and putting lipstick on top or wearing it with other lipsticks. And then I bought this red because I wanted to use it as a liner for this liquid lip product from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Lipstick from Wet n Wild that they've just come out with. I have sort of mixed emotions about this. Tati did a video where she wore one of the shades all day and she said it looked perfect all the way to the end. But for me, when I wore it to work and I had some coffee and I had some water, it actually started to chip off my lips right in the center, which I wouldn't want to go around talking to people like that. It didn't look right. Uh, on the outside of my lips, it was still strong and vibrant, but in the middle, it was almost like it flaked off. And when I added more to it, it just sort of got thicker. So I think if you were going somewhere and you weren't going to be eating or drinking and you wanted a lipstick that would last a really long time, I think it would be great. Now the other thing, I even tried a lighter uh, color. This is the first color I bought, and this one's called Pink Really Hard. It was a lot brighter out of the tube or more of a standout color than it looked in the tube to me. So that's another warning I would give. Some of these shades look a little different to me when they're on your lips than when they're in the tube because this looks like a really soft color, but when it was on my lips, it really stood out. Now this one, being a lighter color, I didn't notice the, it wearing off as much. I think I noticed it a lot more because of the red. So if I were giving this red to someone, I would say, you're going to need some touch-ups if you're eating and drinking. But if you're just going somewhere, then it should be fine. Now my only complaint with liquid lipsticks, and I always say I'm through buying them and then I want to try more for all of you and I buy some more, is that I think they're sort of aging on mature lips, unfortunately. When I put this on, I see so many of my lip uh, the lines in my actual lip, not above the lip. That's one thing I do want to say. I didn't see this migrating anywhere into fine lip lines. But as far as my actual lips themselves, I think they look a little older when I wear a liquid lip as opposed to something like this that's very moisturizing. This last product is new to me, but not new for Wet n Wild, and it's their ombre blush from their color icon collection. This is in the shade Princess Daiquiri's. I think if you like a nice soft blush you would love this. This isn't highly pigmented like some of the other Wet n Wild blushes. I love it for work because when I do my makeup I tend to either do a more intense eye or intense lip. I like the cheeks to just sort of be there and just for my blush to add a slight bit of color so I look healthy. And this fits that bill. It's a beautiful blush. The texture's so smooth. It blends easily. I am so happy with it. And I think it's great for mature women. I hope you will go watch Donna's video. I can't wait to see it. I wonder what Revlon product she's been trying because I haven't bought much from Revlon lately. So I'm really excited to see her video. In the comments, I would love to hear what you think of liquid lipsticks. So far, they haven't worked that great for me. And if you found one that you really like on your mature lips, we would all like to know the brand or the name of the lipstick or the shade. Thanks so much for watching. But what I like about it, it's actually in a stick form. So I washed my face first, then took this, and you just rub it on your skin. And then I took my fingers and in the under eye area, because I want to exfoliate there, but it's so thin in that area of the skin, 